Look at Deuteronomy 28, 68. God said that he would send his people, his chosen people, on wooden ships into slavery. After the Israelites left Egypt, God gave a list of blessings that he would bless his chosen people with that he took out of Israel. The God of Abraham also delineated a list of curses that he would place on his people the Israelites if they disobeyed his words and one of the curses regards the, the captivity of Israel and the shipping of his people to Egypt again not to Egypt in Africa but to Egypt again on wooden ships to a land that their fathers did not know and they were served gods that their fathers never, never served and no man should ever save them or redeem them from their enslavement African Americans are the only ones in the history of mankind that fit that description African Americans are the only people in history that fit that curse we are the only people that, that were shipped on wooden ships as slaves to a foreign land to serve our enemies Chinese people Japanese people and fake Jews over in Israel who are the Khazars were never shipped on wooden ships and served as slaves why isn't this being taught by preachers in the church today God is about to reveal his people That's why I got all this knowledge about who I am and who you are. I was specifically one morning visited by the Holy Spirit and told to teach quietly. That's what I'm doing now. So if you're listening to this, you're listening to a commissioned teacher teach you what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me regarding your identity as Israel if you're African American who are this, who is a descendant of slaves Ooh. now if you Negroes want to know some I got about 13 books on the internet on amazon.com speaking about different subjects particularly religion 13 ebooks on amazon.com authored by me, LeGrand Anthony, L-A-G-R-E-N-T-A-N-T-H-O-N-Y, LeGrand Anthony. Go there and read these books. I know you Negroes don't like to read. That's why you're in the condition you're in today in America. All you want to do is look at Housewives of Atlanta and other entertainment, gangster rap music, anything that will give you a, an emotional high you don't want to use your brain. You want just an emotional sensation. Sensationalism. Even when you go to church, you don't want to learn anything because the preachers ain't teaching nothing but giving you, they're only giving you some entertainment, music, entertaining gospel music and teaching you something that tickles your ear. Teaching you something about the things you encounter every day, the problems that you have in your personal life and how you can overcome these contemporary problems they're not teaching you anything about God and who you are and how you need to relate to, relate to God or be born again they're just teaching you about they're giving you motivational speeches and entertainment wake up fools learn something about the God of Abraham your God learn that you are the chosen people spoken of in the Bible take it seriously and when you read the Bible know that you are reading about your aunt, your, your grandfathers and grand, great grandfathers this is not some mysterious people of God that are unrelated to you you are directly the descendants of these people spoken of in the Bible you are the blood descendant of Jesus, the Christ, 
spoken of in the Bible as a black man that had woolly hair and burnt bronze skin. White people with straight hair and white and red skin, white skin, are not the chosen people spoken of in the Bible. That should be self-evident, but non-critical uh, condition slaves can't make that connection. And it does matter, according to the Bible. All you gotta do is read it and you'll see that it does. Color does matter. Because color is the only thing in the Bible that distinguishes the chosen people of God who are Israel from the unchosen counterfeit fakes who are straight haired, white skinned people who call themselves Israel. So color does matter. If color didn't matter, God wouldn't have mentioned color in the Bible. He wouldn't have described Jesus as a black man because if only the spirit mattered, color wouldn't matter. But God understanding what would happen in the latter days described Jesus' color so that you will know that these people who say they are Jews today are not Jews. But rather, you are Jews. Just look at Deuteronomy 28, 68. And you should clearly understand who you are, where you came from. You came from the west coast of Africa. The slave trade was only, only involved the west coast of Africa. They did not take slaves from Egypt, Ethiopia, in Libya to bring to America as slaves. They did not bring Hamites to America to become slaves. Only those people that lived on the west coast of Africa who are Israel, only those people that left Jerusalem in 70 AD and migrated to the west coast of Africa and populated the west coast of Africa were taken as slaves by European Edomites and brought to America. Who were these Edomites that brought these black Israelites to America? Very interesting. The people that brought these Israelites from the west coast of Africa were those that say they are Jews today and are not. The people that were involved in extracting the Israelites from the west coast of Africa are or were white Edomites now standing in the state of Israel claiming to be Israel. Hmm. Isn't that something? The very people that claim today to be Israel stole the true Israelites from the west coast of Africa and brought them to America conditioned their children for 400 years to believe that they are not Israelites but are Hamites. The same people that today claim to be Israelites but are white Europeans stole the true Israelites from the west coast of Africa and brought them to America as slaves and for 400 years by brutal torture, rape and savage conditioning of the mind taught the children of those slaves 
that they are not Israelites, but the cursed descendants of Ham. Yes, we have discovered the conspiracy spoken of in Psalms 83 that has been committed by a group of Khazarian, white Khazarian Edomites who are the descendants of Esau take revenge on behalf of their great grandfather Esau to destroy the seed of his twin brother Jacob, Israel. Again, this is shown in Psalms 83, where it describes who the participants in this conspiracy are. And Edom is clearly delineated, written, and expressly shown to be one of these conspirators. Yes, Edom, who are Karzarian Jews, led the slave trade and owned the slave ships took the people out of the west coast of Africa that they knew were not Africans but were Israelites who settled on the west coast of Africa after they left Jerusalem in 70 AD these Edomites these white Europeans knew that the people on the west coast of Africa were not Africans. They knew they were not Egyptians. These Edomites, who are the descendants of Esau, did not go to Egypt, Ethiopia, Libya, and North Africa to extract black people and bring them to America as slaves. Hamites, who are Africans, assisted Esau and the Edomites. Ishmael, who are the Arabs, also assisted these Edomite Karzarians in the enslavement of black Israelites. All of these conspirators Ishmael, Edom, the Hamites are all described in Psalms 83 as being participants in this conspiracy to hide the identity of the true Israelites. All of these people, the Ishmaelites, Edomites, and Hamites participated in the slave trade of Israelites that were taken from the west coast of Africa and brought to America as slaves. Understand so-called black man. Understand so-called black American. You are the victim. You are the people that were described by God in Deuteronomy 28, 68 that would be taken in wooden ships and enslaved in a foreign land that your forefathers never knew and no one shall save you. So here you are in America as the descendants of slaves and you don't know who you are. Clearly, those white European Karzarians now living in the land of Israel and bombing and murdering Palestinians are not the chosen people of the Bible spoken of as Israel. Because today, those so-called Jews, white Khazarian Jews now living in Israel, 
know who they are. They say they are the descendants of his descendants of Israel. Those white Khazarian Jews say that they are Jews and they practice Judaism. They say they practice Judaism. But the Bible says that in Psalms 83, Israel does not know who they are. So, you know, clearly these people cannot be the people described as having their identity taken away and not knowing who they are as Israel. How long <clears throat> will it take? God will determine when you black Americans will awaken and again recognize who you are and who your God is, who is the God of Abraham. And when you do, you will turn from your wicked ways that you have learned and stop following the pagan customs and traditions and religions that your enemies spoken of in the Bible have taught you. When you do this, God will hear you and come to your rescue as he promised. This is the latter days and the time for your awakening. The dry bones are now being shaken. Listen and hear the call. Most of the biological descendants of Israel will retain the pagan mindset they've been taught. But for those who listen and turn from their wicked Babylonian customs and traditions and return back to the laws and commandments of God and call on their the God of their ancestors will be saved.